I'm meeting my good friend and amazing dancer choreographer Kelly Becerra today. Kelly and I used to work together at Universal Studios when I first moved here. And Kelly and I are meeting today to discuss the song for the music video as she might be choreographing it. And just to kind of get back into the, the swing of things since it's been a few years since I've really danced properly. Like it can't be super sharp mm -hmm. because it's a very free song. Mm -hmm. You know, there's like a tribal kind of feel in that. Uh -huh. There's percussion. Like I want, if if any of that like deep tribal stuff comes hey. out, like, hey, like I think that's kind of cool. Do it when it goes because I want it to feel mm -hmm. like the point is I'm right. saying we're pretty on the inside, which mm -hmm. means what however I want to express myself on the outside, I need to be comfortable with. Yeah. So if it happens to look ugly, yeah. Sorry. I mean, it, it. that's a great idea. It does have a very tribal feel. Right. Okay, hold on. Oh, there it is. Stand, you're, you stand in front and your dancers behind you. Oh, and those, yeah. Those oh, yeah, up. totally. Like the Hindu things kind of thing. I'd love that. Um, I actually really like that idea. Just because it presents a world kind of flavor. Mm hmm. But can you see, like, if, mm -hmm. if everyone's in, like, the drip, can you see my heart or whatever, whatever mm -hmm. we're doing? And suddenly it looks like we've got six arms. Mm -hmm. Right. Once it's once your song is mastered, ah! then it will be more, I guess, I think it'll be more. It'll like, be, it'll hit more. Yeah. It'll hit a lot bigger. So, so right now that's just my mix, right? which is nothing because I don't mix. Ollie, the guy I wrote it with, he's mm -hmm. got it right now and he's just finishing up the production on it. Okay. So it's a co-production. So okay. um, I'm sure once I get it back, it's going to be huge because yes. uh, producing isn't my forte either. Mm -hmm. and, then, um, and then I get it mixed and then you have that version. So who's directing it? Um, a friend of mine named Kevin Porter. Okay. This is just an idea I've discussed with him. I'm like, I really would love to do some choreography, and I thought of you, and I'm like, I, I wonder if there's a way to do it. And there's always a way to do it. Yes. But it has to be cohesive with the, the, the whatever else, you, either the look or the story. I want it to feel like a very empowering collaboration. That's why I think the dancing is a really cool thing, because dancing is such a, an amazing and beautiful form of expression. Mm -hmm. So really, that's all it is. It, there's no narrative. It's going to be... Dancing, silhouettes of people, different people dancing. Okay. Um, me, hopefully, with two girls or two people dancing. Could be a guy, just doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's going to be a mix of silhouette shots and then really the editing as far as what what we see visually. Okay. Okay. Sometimes you don't need a big underlining thing. It's just, right. it is what it is. Right. You're, you're telling, you're making the statement that you want. Right. And you're just putting really good visuals to it. I'm going to put an ad on Craigslist. Okay. Um, and I'm also asking some friends. But if you do know people who might want to just be part of something, okay. looking like you come out of a magazine mm -hmm. isn't key for me. Okay. I want it to be diverse. Everyone's pretty. That's the message. Okay. Like, I'm not looking for two dancers that are necessarily the same height and weight and shape and whatever as me. Okay. And I actually know really one girl I know. She's got this really big hair. Nice. And she has a huge gap in her teeth. Nice. She's gorgeous. But it's like, it's... Unconventional. Yes. Yeah. So, um, so I can ask her if she wants, she want to do it. Cool. A bunch of the shots will be different people lip syncing to the song. Oh, cool. Awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start working on it. Okay. Just coming up with ideas. Okay. And, um, and then when we meet next again, I guess we'll all teach you. And if you're like, oh, I'm feeling that, or, mm -hmm. um, this is, not the direction, then you let me know and then we okay. change it. I just want you to feel good and be proud of it oh, and be confident you. in okay. what you're doing because this is not about the choreo, it's about you and the yeah. message that you're sending. Exactly. So yes. we'll need like two rehearsals, two, um, you know, two or three hour rehearsals, I think. Okay. Because we're only doing a hook, you know, a hook and maybe a, like the... Like the breakdown of the, uh, and the outro bit. Right, which yeah. will be the same both times. So I'll speak with um, our director... And, and you know, see if we can coordinate and then also see if the studio is available. Yeah, cool. Please, like, don't don't worry about, like, 
if you want to get stuff done and I'm just not around, don't feel bad. No, I, yeah. I, I understand. I appreciate that too. For me, it's more important to work with the right people. Of course. You know what I mean? If, it's worth waiting for people if if I feel more comfortable or – like I'd love to have you involved over mm -hmm. someone I don't know just because I'm trying to get it done in right. a deadline. Cool. cool. All right, awesome. All right, Brad. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Girl. You're so welcome.